This is the situation at the end of the 7th of October, the second term of the game. If we look on to the Suez front, uh, the Egyptians are starting to get quite a lot of uh, battalions across the, um, the bridges now. They've had to break down a lot of their brigades to get to get them across so they, they can only cross with uh, four battalions a turn and leave one on the bridge as well um, so the brigades are actually five or six battalions usually so uh, that's why they had to break down in terms of operational points they spent two more operational points to get to put two more bridges up, bringing them up to their maximum number of HQ bridges. And they also um, activated um, a couple of armoured brigades as well to support the uh, main attack. In terms of the Israelis, Israelis now got two HQs on the board, so they should be able to keep everything in uh, in command, so you're not going to have all these units scattered around without any command. Um, I'll just move that, I forgot to move that. It can move up to half its movement, even though it is out of command. So, as it, uh, Israeli mobilization is continuing, but they're going to have a hard push if the Egyptians decide to uh, try and break through to the Sinai passes. If you look at the stuff on the Golan front, um, the Syrians have got three bridges across the anti tank ditch. Yet again, they can only send four battalions across each bridge and leave one on the bridge um, the difference here is a lot of their mechanized and infantry units have been able to dismount and cross the anti-tank ditch and they're remounting on the other side um, Israeli oh, in terms of OPs they've spent an OP to actually activate two armored brigades We've got um, Israel's forces are starting to arrive and a bit of a front forming now, but the situation is still fairly critical. There's a hell of a lot of Israeli units that aren't on the board yet. But then again, there's a, a reasonable amount of Arab units that aren't on the board. A lot of divisions like these little things here, these aren't activated yet. But you need to spend OP points to activate them. The air war is pretty much even Stevens at the moment. Very difficult for the Egypt for the uh, Israelis to approach these flat patches on the Suez Canal area. Um, the flak is nowhere near as bad on the Golan Heights, so they're tending to concentrate their attacks on the Syrian forces. Um, crossing the Golan. So it's still anybody's game, and I don't think the Israelis are doing particularly well. Uh, it's hard to say how this is going to turn out. 